Today I'm going to show you how to quickly make a striped pattern and as well as a plaid pattern. So I have my canvas open here. This is 12 by 12 for 300 dpi. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. And I'm just going to pick this red color so you can see what I'm doing. And then over here is my shape tool. I'm going to hold down and select the line. So then if you look up here, you can change the width of your line. And if you hold down shift while you draw the line, it will be straight. So now I already have one line. Let's switch colors over here. And I'm going to make this one a little fatter. Hold down shift. And one more layer. Um, let's make this one 60. Hold down shift one more time. OK. So now I have three lines. And it's pretty easy this way if you want an exact sort of stripes to get gradually bigger. This is a good way to do it. But if you just want a bunch of big stripes, it's sometimes easier to use the rectangle tool, which I just grabbed over here. And I'm going to pick a new color, and I'm just going to make, so I can make this as wide as I want. I'm just going to go with something like that. OK, so I have my stripes. Um, and now, but it's only, it's only filled up this part of my paper. I'm actually just going to scoot these guys over here so that my pattern's a little smaller. OK, so. In order to make this into a pattern that I can repeat, I'm first going to come up here to Image and Trim. And I'm going to trim based on this, which is the white up here. So now I have no extra space, but I really I do want a little padding, because otherwise these two end stripes will be next to each other. So I'm just going to open this. And I'm just going to add a little space, however much you want. And this actually made my background black, because over here I have my background color set to black. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this so it's all white. So we can see. OK, and one more thing I like to do is I just like to crop this down to a square, um, because I do save these files so that I can use them again in the future. And this just makes them look nicer. So here's my stripe pattern. I'm going to turn off the background. That's an important part. First, we have to make it a pattern. So we can come up here to Edit, Define Pattern. OK, so it's going to save this. And now I'm going to make a new canvas, make a new layer. And now, using my paint can and selecting Pattern, the pattern I made will just be the last one. And I can fill, and there it is, easy striped paper. If you want to make a plaid paper, that's really easy. I've just duplicated the layer, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to scoot that over a bit, and I'm just going to set this to multiply. And now I have plaid.